Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with the Dollar Tree haul for you, my daily Dollar Tree hauls. And guys, I found some amazing things that I couldn't pass up. I had to pick them up. And what was in my thumbnail just blew me away. They had four of Judy Bloom's books. I have no idea how many she has made, but I wasn't gonna walk away from these. I know that the grand ladies are going to love these books. This is, they're all Judy Bloom. This one is, then again, maybe I won't. This one is, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. They just made a movie out of this book. I haven't seen it yet, but I'd like to. Then they have had Deanie and Blubber. I don't know if there were any more than these. These were the four that were in my store. I don't know how many books she has actually written, but I thought this was an incredible find. So I picked up one of each. When I find books, especially for my grandkids, I'm not going to walk away from them because I just think it's it's great. They're readers. They love to read. $1.25, why not? A piece, of course. Let me see, is there a price on these anywhere? I don't I don't see a price of how much they would have been. No, I don't I don't see a price. If it's here, I'm just passing over it. But this one does say ages 12, 8 to 12. Do they have an age on all of them? This one, the blubber is for ages 8 to 12. Dini, it says it's recommended for 10 through 14. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, 8 through 12. I like how they did that, that they put the, you know, the appropriate ages. And then the, then again, maybe I won't, is for 10 to 14. So these would be perfect for all three of our older grandkids. All right, a few food items. I picked up a thing of the Zesty Italian by Kraft. This is just for me for on salads. It's my salad dressing of choice. I love Italian dressing. I picked up that big bottle of the Pampa brand to make the pasta salad, but I, I wanted this just for regular salad. And Zesty Italian is my favorite. And it's the eight fluid ounce Kraft. And it says no high fructose corn syrup, no synthetic colors. So picked up one of these, and the best buy on this is August of 24. So it'll be long gone by then. These aren't super big bottles, which makes me happy. Did you ever like put salad dressing, you use it once, it sits in the fridge, then you go to look at it, and the exp expiration date's like, you know, a year past? That has happened to me in the past. So just one of those. And then hubby picked this up because this is definitely a hubby thing and not a me thing. It's by Harvest Creek and it is the premium white chicken salad, fully cooked and ready to eat. It's a 2.6 ounce, an easy snack. He likes these. He'll eat it right out of the pouch or he'll make it into a wrap. The best buy is January of 26. And the whole pouch is the serving size. And this, it you know, it feels like you get a lot in here. 2.6 ounces. So have you guys tried these and what are your thoughts? I believe we picked up something else from this line, but I can't remember now what it was. But it says premium white chicken salad. So hubby's going to try that. And then these are for me. It's another one of my go-to little snacks from the Dollar Tree. And these are name brand Ocean Spray the Craisins. And they're dried cranberries, no artificial flavors or preservatives. Great for salad, baking, recipes. And it says the original, farmer owned. And it's a 4.5 ounce bag of the Craisins. I think that's a pretty good deal for these. And I like just snacking on them. I like putting them in oatmeal, just different things. And it's way healthier for me than grabbing a cookie. So I like having these on hand. I do have a bag started already, but it's getting down there. So that's why I restocked. And then just a random thing I picked up from the, like the red, white, and blue section. I grabbed some of their plates for either Memorial Day or 4th of July. These will probably be for Memorial Day. These are the square style plates. And these were the two that they had, just the flag. And they are 
How big are they? You get 12 in here. What is the dimensions? Nine by nine. And then they had this one with sort of fireworks on it, which I thought was really nice. And also nine by nine. So I just picked up one of each. And then the only napkins that they had this time were the flags. So I did pick up two of them. And I think this is a pretty nice deal. You get 25 napkins in here and they're 13 by 13. And that's when you unfold them is that size. So I picked up two. Totally random thing at Easter time and every Easter. I always make beets and eggs. I do not have a container that fits how much I make without a lid. I needed one with a lid because just putting boiled eggs in the fridge, even covered with saran wrap, it makes everything in the fridge smell like boiled eggs. So I was looking for a container with a big wide top that you can get a spoon down in to scoop stuff out. And I think this one is gonna be perfect. It's by McCormick. Very nice size container for $1.25. It's 12 cups. This would also work nice just for storing cookies, things like that in. Very easy, very easy lid to put on, but it seems like it seals nicely. So that's what this is earmarked for. It is going to be for my beets and eggs. And I do like this brand, the McCormick brand. They wash up well. So I've got one of those. And then let's see, which way do I go here? We're taking a family vacation this year and we already picked up some sand type toys. I wanted to get a bucket for when you're building sand castles, you have to go bring water back to help everything pack better. So I picked up this nice big bucket and it also came with an attached little shovel and you just undo the side and the shovel comes off. Nice size, they had all different colors, all different you know, buckets like this. And it was where they have all their summer stuff by Outdoor Fun. And it's just called Sand Toys on the label. So I picked up pink with the green shovel. They had every color under the sun of these. I know they had a really pretty yellow too because I almost picked it up. But I got the pink instead. It seems very nicely made. $1.25 for that. Showed you the food stuff. In the, um, where all the shampoos and everything are, this looked different to me. I don't know if it's been there and I just didn't notice, but they had a, the African black soap, and this says, with charcoal powder by Be Pure, this is the shampoo bar. And it says, removes impurities and soothes the scalp. And it's a three ounce bar. That's a shampoo bar. Have you guys ever used like shampoo bars? I have, and I actually like them. And then this one is the African Black Soap by Be Pure with shea butter and vitamin E. This is the conditioning bar. And it says it hydrates without weighing down hair. And it's also a three ounce bar. I think this is gonna be really nice to try. It just says wet for the shampoo, wet hair and scalp, glide back and forth on hair and in between hands to lather, work through hair and scalp and rinse. And then for the conditioner, it says glide the bar over your wet hair and gently massage from midsections to tip. Leave it on your hair up to three minutes and rinse. So if you guys have tried these, please let me know. They sound nice. I want to open it and see if there's a scent, if they're wrapped. There is a scent, a very clean scent. I don't know what that is what the scent is in this, but it smells nice. And it, they are not wrapped. At least the shampoo bar is not. Let's go ahead and check the conditioning bar. No, it's not wrapped either. It is a darker color. And it smells the same. It's just a, a clean scent. So I wanna try these. If you guys have, let me know. This would be really nice in a Father's Day basket because the, the packaging and everything and the black and gray color, like it's a very masculine look. So that would be nice for if you're making a Father's Day basket for someone. And then for me, because of this color, I saw these little like cosmetic boxes and they're called Cosmetic Case by Sassy and Chic. It is a two piece pack and they did come in different colors. I know one was two shades of pink. 
I can't remember what the other one was, but I liked this one because of this mint green. I thought these would just be nice for traveling, just to put little things in. You could put your jewelry in one. You could put Q-tips and cotton pads in one, whatever you would want to use them for. You know, a little make a little emergency kit with some Band-Aids and Neosporin and that type of thing. But I thought these were really cute, and they have a nice um, closure on it. Like, they just, just don't snap close. They have this little, little thing that flips down. Nice size. Like this one is pretty small, but then this one, you know, this is a nice size. You could put baby wipes in here. And that's a really pretty color blue. So these are for me. I'm gonna put them upstairs with my, my um suitcases and everything, and then I'll have them there when I need to pack up. Nice. And, that, and these were where they have all the Mother's Day stuff out right now. It was They had a big end cap in our the one store that I went to. All kind of stuff for Mother's Day. I think I may have one more thing here. Actually, it's this. And this caught my eye because I had showed in a past video, I picked up stuff all for me. Everything was in this print. And there this was this time. And I thought, I, did, I bought this just to see what it looks like. It's called a Tinted Lip Balm by Be Pure, and it says it goes from clear to your unique lip color, which they've had these before. It's color changing, so we're going to open this and try it. It says the pH adapting lip balm changes with each individual, creating a custom tint. And this one doesn't, the other one that I picked up showed what the colors were. This does not, so let's go ahead and open this and see what it looks like. Oh, pretty little lip lip tube. It is plastic. There's a dried flower in there. Can you see that? That's pretty. It smells like coconut. I'm going to rub it on my hand here and see if it changes color. It smells like coconut to me. That's nice. I have lip gloss on right now, so I can't try it, but you can see it's actually changing color on the back of my hand. It looks like I'm gonna be kind of a pink color. So that's nice, that smells nice, and it feels like it's gonna be very moisturizing. Let's see if it stands up. It does have a little bit of a flat bottom. Yes, it stands. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see it was turning pink. Even though I wiped it off, it is turning pink. Uh, you can see it on the tissue, maybe. It's pink. I like that. So I'm, I'm, I want to give this a try when I don't have lipstick already on, and then I will get back to you. I'll save this packaging. And then I found this. LA Colors. They're knocking it out of the park right now. This is a bronzer, and that's one thing I do not have many of. I think I have one. But it was this packaging that kind of caught my eye. I'm curious to see if the shade looks like that. This is in Sunflower is the shade. This is a cream gel bronzer. So let's open it and see what this is about. Just totally destroyed that packaging. I don't use a lot of bronzers. I don't really know how to use bronzers. Little tube. I don't even know if it said the ounce. Oh, it is on there, a 0.28 ounce. Let's go ahead and try this and see. Let's see if it's sealed. It is sealed. LA Colors packages their stuff very nicely. Oh my, it, it comes out right away as soon as you take the seal out. So I'm gonna make a big mess here, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Where's my napkin from the lipstick? So be careful with that, guys because it, it keeps wanting to come out of the tube. My, 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 my. All right, let's get the, let's get the cap back on there. I got a lot. I don't smell a scent. Can you see that? That, this is a lot. You'd never, you'd never need this much bronzer. Let me grab another tissue, guys. But I think I'm gonna like that shade, though. It's kind of a neutral undertone, 
It's not too cold, not too warm. Very, very light scent, but not much. My goodness, I made a mess. So I'm gonna try a bronzer sometime in the near, very near future. See how that goes. And all of you are telling me to, you know, try cream products, that I will like cream products better than powder products. So I figured when I saw that, why not? Just be careful if you open this because when you take that little seal off, it just wants to keep coming out. So if you guys have tried this, please let me know your thoughts. All right, everybody, that is it for this haul. I need to go now and wash my hands. I have stuff everywhere. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.